Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to get a definite integral from a limit expression from this one. So, how we can get from this right side, the left hand side, definite integral? We know this is a limit as a sum, definition of a definite integral. Here, uh, xi is equal to a plus i delta x, that x is the width of uh, a sub interval, and that x is equal to this one, and n is the number of sub interval. For this, if we plug these two information in the above formula, so we have this formula. This will help us to find a definite integral from a limit of sum. So let us solve first of all. Here you can see this limit uh, we have given. So from here we will catch our definite integral. So what we will do, we will compare this one with our formula. So the very first thing which we can catch is the delta x. Why delta x? You can see it is as two different place, one without i index and one with i index. That's why we can easily catch and verify what is delta x. For this, we have to look for a same expression at two different place, one with i index and one without i index. Clearly here you can see we have pi over 4n and one with i index and one without i index so this is our delta x once you reach to delta x then if i plug this L delta x at this place so my uh, limit has this form now i can catch my a so go to that delta x that is with i index if now you are in this bracket in the argument of a tangent you will not go outside this bracket if something is adding or subtracting, we can adjust it in with i time delta x, that is exactly your a. So our a is pi over 6. Once you reach to a, then with this formula, you can catch your b. So plug the value of a and delta x. So then solve it for b. So b is equal pi over 12. So the final uh, thing we have to catch f of x. Now what you will do in your question, uh, you will first cancel this limit one. Uh, cancel means ignore this one. Now ignore summation symbol and ignore the outside delta x. And one last thing, uh, you have to observe this expression a plus i time delta x. This is your variable place. So what you have left that is your function. So here we have left tangent x only. So this is our function. So our definite integral from this limit is equal to this one, pi by 6 to pi by 12, and the inside function is tangent x. So this is our answer. But note, this is one of the answer. Say for there may be many answer. See my other video for that one. Let me see an other of question. So here, this is different from the previous one. Here you cannot explicitly get your delta x. So before that you have to rearrange the expression. So it is already merged. So I can rearrange it like this one. Now I can compare with the formula. So again I will first catch my delta x at two different places. One with i index, one without i index. So here clearly delta x is 1 over n. Now I will catch my a. So if you replace delta x, so the expression has this form. Now you cannot see what is a. So you will go to that delta x that is with i index. Now you are inside cube. So inside this cube, I can write in a different way like this one. Now inside this cube, there is nothing is adding or subtracting. So it's mean 0 is a. After finding a, now again use your formula. So plug a and delta x and solve it for b. So you will get b equal 1. Now finally we will catch our fx on the same way. Ignore limit, ignore summation, ignore outside delta x. And look at this expression. This is your variable. So what we have left for function in this expression that is x cube. So this is our initial answer. As I told you there are many answers. So what is the initial answer? Now let us solve one hard problem. Now question 3. This is more harder than the previous one. Here the first difficulty we don't have a summation. So first we have to write it in a summation form. 
so we have to observe the pattern if i rearrange it like this one now i can clearly write in a summation form so you can see even numbers are at the top inside the square root and in denominators are the same so this can be written like this one so the simple so 1 over n does not matter inside or outside the summation so i can put inside so this is my expression so i have to choose this one here is another difficulty look at there uh, if you compare it by this one and you are looking for delta x one with the i index one without i index there are two choices so delta x 2 over n with 2 over n different answer with 1 over n different answer but i am choosing 2 over n so as i already told you there are many answers so i will catch just the initial answer so i rearrange this one so i put 2 uh, 1 over 2 at the beginning and 2 inside the summation so now this is my delta x 2 over n same one with the i index one without i index now if i replace delta x expression has this form so now go to that delta x which have i so you can catch your a i rearranging this has this form so a is zero here now by the formula you see by plugging a and delta x you will reach to b so b is 2 now finally ignore limit ignore summation ignore outside delta x and observe this one this is your variable so what we have left in this expression we have left uh, fun for function is 1 over 2 times square root x so our integral has this form this is our required definite integral and as i told you this is one of the answer initial answer for other answers see my another video hope you enjoy it thank you very much